I'm gonna kick your ass. Bitch, you're a fat skank mom and your tits belong in a morgue. What's the big deal? It doesn't hurt anybody. Fuck, 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 fuck. I have thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card debt. You look just like your father. Oh, what? Who do I look like? You look just like you. Why did Auntie Brandy want to leave? And why have we only seen her once in our lives? You know how you really want Bingo's cheetah onesie? But it doesn't fit you, so you can't have it. And there's not really anything anyone can do to make it fit. Yeah. Well, there's something Auntie Brandy wants more than anything as well. But she can't have it. I hope they fit. I wasn't sure how much they'd grown in. realized something. I had a bad childhood. Yeah, I know. What do you mean you know? Look at you. What do you mean look at me? Look at how you stand. People who had good childhoods don't stand like that. I'm not taking advice from a cartoon dog. Billy, check this. Oh, okay. Go. Have a cry. Check. Pick myself up. Myself off. Check. And keep going. The show must go on. Check. Do you know what this 
seen in the newest Bluey episode, Stick Bird Means? I really liked Stick Bird. Yeah, me too. He was beautiful. But when you put something beautiful out into the world, it's no longer yours, really. Well, we have an official answer from Joe Brum, the creator of Bluey, from the Behind Bluey podcast that came out today. And as most of us guessed it, yes, it was a fourth wall break. And this line is direct from Joe Brum to us as the audience. He specifically said in the podcast how when he put Bluey out, he was getting so many notes on it and it would make him really upset. But also when he actually put it out into the world, how some people really resonated with some episodes and not so much with some other ones and had some criticisms about them. So while this doesn't answer why Bandit in the Bluey verse is upset, it does answer what this line means and that yes, it was a fourth wall break. Did you guess this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Oh my God, this is the best Bluey Easter egg I have ever seen. In the newest episode, show and tell, there is a driving scene of Bandit driving around everywhere and you can see the Stafford State School with the actual electrical box out the front that is painted with all the different Bluey scenes. In real life, the Ludo Studios animators went to the school and painted this electrical box that this is so cool that they actually added it into the show now as well this is by far and away one of the best location easter eggs i have ever seen and show and tell has a lot of them as well what did you guys think about this one if you love bluey then strap yourself in because it is now official and canon that the miscarriage theory is actually a part of bluey and that whole episode of the show is about miscarriage. Now, this has been debated online for ages now about whether or not the balloon popping scene did represent a miscarriage that maybe Chili had or if it's just Bingo being sad. But no, Joe Brum, the creator of the show, specifically said that yes, Chili had a miscarriage and this whole episode was about how she had to deal with it and pick herself back up and still look after her kids. So how do we know this? From the book Hard to Bear, which is all about miscarriage and Isabel, the author, actually reached out to Joe Brum and this was the quote that he gave her. This was the response from Bluey writer Joe Brum. The show indeed does point at Chili having a miscarriage. In fact, this is what the episode is about essentially. Chili is passing down her method of coping to Bingo. He wrote, I can't say too much about who it is based on as the person involved wouldn't want me to, but the key aspect of the experience relevant to this episode was the fact that the other children still need taken care of, so there really was no other choice for her but to pick herself up and keep going, which I always admired. So I guess there's no more debate anymore. Bluey is a rainbow baby and the miscarriage theory is true. How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Bingo! What's the last time you ever heard a TV show or a movie use that word? Dad, tell Bingo to give me a turn on the swing sets, Dad, please, please. Bluey, please stop being a fucking cut. Tutorial con papel y lápiz de cómo dibujar a Bluey. Comencemos. Obviamente la base principal es un rectángulo. Digamos que es un rectángulo con las esquinas redondeadas, así. Tus orejas serán dos triángulos. Toma como referencia la mitad del rectángulo. Ahora su trompita. También es una especie de rectángulo y la naricita es un triángulo redondito. Bueno, un triángulo con las esquinas redondeadas. Para las patitas son otros dos rectángulos y al final le vas a hacer como unas botitas de lluvia. Estas serán sus patas, dos líneas para la cola y un como guantecito, que es como la esponjosidad de la colita. Dos líneas paralelas para las manitas, cual tiene que pasar un poquito del cuerpecito hacia abajo. La manita saludando es como un guantecito, la rayita del medio es para hacerle como lo gordito de las patas. Los ojos son dos óvalos, pero uno de ellos tiene que ir a la mitad porque está detrás de la trompita. Y bueno, nada más pones detalles como las cejas y dónde van sus manchitas. Aquí, por acá y ya quedó. Espero que hayas entendido este tutorial. ¿Lo pinto? Adelante. Porque no tienes una esposa. Los cocos tienen agua dentro. Nada. Dije que la tienda ya cerró. Yeah. Au. Oh, bingo. Escarbando, escarbando. Diversión, diversión. Uf, uh, huele mal. Bueno, pues puedes esperar afuera, hija. ¿Me das una probada, Mofi? Puedes observarme bailar can 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 Mira, voy a ponerlo encima del de Bluey por ahora. Oh, hola Bluey. Tú no eres.
eres malvado. Eres un león bueno. Tú eres el malvado. ¿Yo? ¡Sí, tú! ¡No puedo correr tan rápido! A ver, no tienes nada que decir, Sharon. ¡Hizo pipí en la piscina! Oye, nena, huele a esto. Hello. Oh, thank goodness. Bingo! Did you bring your jumper? No. Oh, that's it, Fridge. I'm leaving. Oh, but I'm really hungry. Okay, okay. Papoose. Hello. Bingo. Banana. <laughs> Bingo. Sorry. That's a picture of me. You're throwing away Bluey. Ah. You're a baddie. Can you buy us another one? Zero chance. Oh, why not? This is not my fault. What have you got there? Oh, nothing, dear. Good morning, Uncle Gorgeous. How much is this? Oh, uh, so buy four, get one free. I like the free one. No, Gorgeous, you mean to pay for this? Gorgeous! Small popcorn. Oh. Okay, three tickets and a popcorn. <laughs> and another popcorn. <laughs> bingo. <laughs> Here, bingo. Oh, swingy chair. <laughs> Loud. Dark. <laughs> bingo. <laughs> oh, a popcorn. One popcorn, please. Sure. Bingo, don't touch that. <laughs> bingo, no, mate. <laughs> ah. I'm watching. Well done, Bluey. Happy birthday to you! Oh, 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 happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Today is a momentous occasion. Your birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Today is a day worth celebrating. I hope this day can bring you true happiness. Many happy returns. Happy birthday!